right, he is the Funk Master, Aljo, Aljamain Sterling. We talk so much about the state of this 135 pound division, how it's never been stronger, and yet, this guy's starting to distance himself from the pack a little bit. Outstanding grappler, and more often than not, he's gonna have a big advantage in that world. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things that separates Aljamain, is that he's one of those guys that tells you what he's gonna do, and then he goes and he does it. Nothing's more discouraging for a fighter right than to know what you have to defend and still not be able to defend it. Aljamain Sterling is a beast. Now, he did hint to us in the fighter meeting that he thought he could win this fight without chaining takedown. So perhaps we'll see a strike-heavy approach here from Sterling early. We shall see. Aljamain Sterling. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight that UFC championship belt. Well, if you want to talk about a division being the glamour division in this modern era, maybe it's lightweight, and this is the man they are all chasing, the undisputed king at 155 pounds. He's the champion of the world, the lightweight champion, a very difficult belt to capture. This is one of those titles that when you start, it seems like the journey is so long, it's so daunting, because those champions are tremendous. This guy knew from day one that one day he would hold that championship belt. He got there and he has been defending it valiantly. He's a tremendous champion and he loves the opportunity to once again prove that he's the best. And it is interesting to look back at some of his early days in the UFC compared to this version. Night and day, we'll see how it goes for the champion here tonight. Calvin Cape, and he finds himself in another big spot here tonight. Our tail of the take now for this lightweight championship fight. All right, here now the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, El Jermaine Punk Master Sterling. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Calvin Katar. All right, Herb Dean, third man ready, in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, ready to go here, round one. There is the funk master, Aljamain Sterling. In terms of absorbing damage, few guys are harder to hit than this man. We'll see how it goes for Aljo here early round one. That hook was bad. Got checked. Pretty good straight punch there by Calvin Cater. Tries to work it into a takedown. No surprise, DC, to see Calvin Cater try to establish that jab here. Is that New England cartel boxing? Calvin Cater, Rob Hart, all those guys are so well versed in the hands. They do such a great job of starting every combination with the jab, making sure that they dictate your reactions. It all starts, man, in boxing with the jab, and now you're starting to see guys. Oh, straight left. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking game. I mean, they're stringing them together so effectively 
never going the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you. Ed. Under two minutes now to go. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Back and forth we go. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been like that. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, big left. Oh, beautiful level change. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Sterling. Setting up a submission. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Arm triangle getting very close. He's got to clear that guard, though, if he wants to find a finish. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, Calvin Cato with the jab. That was Boston Strong right there. He's looking good tonight. I love when the accent comes up. I love beautiful place on that find me. Three minutes to go in round two. Might get the TKO here. Sterling's attempted to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, maybe ill-advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Oh, yeah, he's got him to sit tight. Oh, you better tap or that thing's going to snap. He's got it isolated. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Get the ball here. Well, sometimes our staff guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Oh, another submission attempt by a man. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. He's got to be careful here. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, 
It is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before he gets given up. Good round. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side in that round, and it's amazing to think that as we sit here, this fight's not over yet. It's not over yet. There's no three knockdown rule, like in boxing. Right. So as long as the guy gets up, right. the guy can continue to fight. It is, a, it is a phenomenal fight. We knew it when the matchmakers told him that they were putting them together. Great fight, and it's truly delivered. this championship fight. Let it be over. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot the ball for the connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Side control. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Sterling. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for it. Crowd always laughs when they go north-south, DC. Just over three minutes to go in round three. That dark choke is tight. Look at the front master delivers. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, four seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Darsh choke. And...